All right, we're here. Oh, <laughs> look at you. I need Bo and Shayo. Never did I start looking like that. Yeah, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because I was waiting to go live, so I was just like, and then like, it went live, and I was still holding the face. I need Evo and Shay Yo. Yo, my friend. <laughs> my friend said after brunch, she kept waking up <laughs> and singing that in the middle of the night. That was me on Friday. I could not stop singing that song. And that's the only that's part I know. Hilarious. Only part I know. I was like, says, never did you wake up and, and was singing in the middle of the night. That is funny. I need Evo and Shay Yo. That's the theme song. No, he really bodied that. Like, it's the sample. Shout out to the sample. Shout out to the living legend, Tony Michelle Braxton. Right. She get, if we was in the studio, I would add the claps. She gets 60%. She gets 60%. Because remember, my sis had to file for bankruptcy once in her lifetime. And now my sis is getting 60% for the beat. Come on. Living legend Tony Michelle Braxton. Right. Let us do this before we both get our get yelled at. <laughs> yeah. Okay, another episode of the Her Soul Podcast. Ooh, I forgot. Yeah, we gotta introduce ourselves. Yes, let's not get yelled at. Welcome back to another <laughs> episode of the Her Soul Podcast. I'm Nia Lorraine. I'm Michaela Dominique. And we bike. We bike, y'all. We bike in the crib. Um back. <laughs> back, to the, back to the crib, yeah. That's oh, you, my shit. Dun, dun, yeah. mm, Chris, mm, nah, Chris and Joel's fucked that up. That's you, my shit. Shorty says, Shorty feel that me like yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you say, Oh, yeah. She don't know that we ain't doing. Back to the crib. Don't you want to? I definitely would have went back to the crib here in that song. That was my shit. <laughs> <laughs> was he a mother's crib? Cause mm. nobody had nah, no nah, 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 chill. No, <laughs> ain't nobody had no crib back then. <laughs> but still, like, I get the vibes. I would have went wherever you was going because that was my song. Heard him, heard it. Yo, so it's been another eventful week, son. I feel like I did week a good mad, weekend. Was I did mad shit this weekend? For, last week for absolutely no reason. I was outside. I was outside. Um, Friday I went to Deep Cuts. I have, oh, yeah. I I have signed up, but I ended up uh just hanging with my cousins. I feel that. Shout out to Ayana. That probably was fun as hell. I had mad fun. Like I was acting like my knees work. Like I was I was dancing. Like I didn't know. Like my, yeah, like I didn't know. Like my act like my knees are working. So <laughs> shout out to me. Not your knees was working. Dang, nah. your eyes is dry. Mine are too. Um, the was working. Yeah, I like. I felt it the next day. I'm like, damn. So not my. I was because they was playing Jersey Club and shit like that. Like a whole bunch no. of stuff. So I was like, you know what? Let me show you how Jersey do it. Like a little bit, but like a little bit, like a little bit, a little bit. But then I forgot. I ain't at that age no more. So sis said I can't do that no more. It's not for me. And I had the audacity to have that long ass skirt on too. So I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> The fit was cute though. The fit was cute. Thanks, thanks, thank thanks, thanks, thanks. I had to give a look. I had to give a look. So I'm always in the house. I had to give a look. Nah, because my friend gave me a pep talk the other day. She said, you stop what? acting. Yeah, no, because he said, I've been acting like a bum bitch. I was like, damn. Damn. That's a little personal. <laughs> <laughs> like, he said, you stop acting like a bum bitch because you're not that. That was personal. It hurt my feelings. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna show these motherfuckers I'm not a bum bitch. You, yeah, right? no, that was personal. That was personal. It was very. It hurt my feelings as a straight man. You telling me that I'm like a bum bitch? I might believe this was you. a straight man. I might, yeah, I might. First of all, that was personal. I won't even let you call me bitch, but like, I guess that was personal. It was personal. I respect it though. So that's why I got two pictures this, this on weekend. I ain't a bum bitch. This said, that's why y'all got two. Because he really gave me like a big ass pep talk. I'm like, oh, you act like you don't deserve things. That's that. And a third, stop acting like you're not good enough for these niggas out here. I'm like, first of all, these niggas aren't good enough for me. Ooh. That's that. Heard that. Let me stop. Heard I it. <laughs> Let me stop. But nah, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't be feeling myself sometimes so i guess i needed that i feel like that's to me i don't know people i get everybody's sentiment and why they be saying that but sometimes i feel like it's normal to just not feel 
Yeah, yeah like I wasn't feeling myself. I wasn't feeling. Myself. I go through those. I go through a funk like that. I feel like once a month. Like yeah, yeah. That, and this was the time. Like I just wasn't feeling myself. My yeah. hair, my hair wasn't done. That's number one. I'd be part of it. I just wasn't feeling myself. Like when your hair is still not done. Then what, I'm not. Why am I coming outside for what? I don't know. He's like, you need. Yeah, like, I feel like I just be outside to have, like, I don't know. Like, I be going outside. I don't be getting the same energy that I be trying to give off. Right. So, right. I mean, like, it's no point in me coming outside because I'm just, I'm not the target audience. <laughs> not the target audience for outside. I'm not the target audience for outside sometimes. I feel that, like, sometimes I just want to stay in my little bubble in the house and. Just chill. You know, you know, like for me, sometimes it don't even be like me just having to stay in the crib. Like it just be like I rather keep it chill than just yeah. be outside. Like, yeah, hoping that some yeah. somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, hoping, ain't nobody hoping, waving hoping nobody to talk to me, please. Yeah, like I just be like, uh, this like, is not crazy. doing that. So he's basically telling me stop acting like a a bum bitch and be a bad bitch. I'm like, you know mm-hmm. what? Right. You're right. But the, but the bum bitch is wild. <laughs> but bro, I was like, wait, I'm he's like, I get bum. I was like, I get yeah, bum. I would be like, yo, bum. Wow, like, I, I get bum. That's very rude. I'm like, never, I does, never does it get bum. It's, I'm like, I don't get bum. He's like, I'm like, maybe he used the wrong words. He's like, yeah, you use the wrong yeah. words. I'm, like, I'm not a bum bitch. Do you see that what was I'm the wrong word? Doing? That was the wrong word. I him. worked hard. Don't tell the me that. Word for him. Yeah, I, mean, I understand where he was coming from. Me too, but like, like it was trying to be a motivational pep talk. Yeah, but like, no, you watch, you listen to much city girls for me, sir. Because like, you know what happened when me and my friends was at brunch, I was telling them about like some shit that I was feeling, and they gave me a motivational pep talk, but they did not call me a bum bitch. Right? Like, why? Out of all things, a bum bitch. I'm not that. Guys, I'm not, when, I'm you not, have, when you have fr- women for friends, and y'all are not yeah. attracted to each other, but y'all are friends. Don't call me. No, that's the one thing you don't you gotta find the right words sometimes. Yeah, I don't know what you listen to the city girls before you yeah. have to talk with me, but like, don't call me no bum bitch. I'm not that. Because the sentiment, hard. the sentiment, I, I understand it. what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I understand. I appreciate that. That's why y'all got two fits this this weekend. I understand. Well, that. Bum like, bitch is don't wild. Call me bum bitch. That's very. I was like, yo, I would have almost like. I feel like if one of my guy friends said that to me, I probably would have almost wanted to fight. Like I felt, I looked, I'm like, are you right in front of me calling me a bum bitch? It gave bum, like it gave bum, it gave bum. I'm like, I, I'm like, damn, nigga. My now you can tell me that, like, I'm not, I'm not giving my all, and yeah, I'm not, not bum. Bitch I could be. Right, exactly, because he's like, oh, you act like you don't, have, like you're not that confident. I'm like, babe, sometimes I'm not. And that's normal. Sometimes you got fake it till you make it. Yeah, that's what I've been doing all my life. So, like, what you mean? <laughs> relax, relax, relax. Nah, all jokes aside, like, if you go through some relax, things, relax, 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 release. <laughs> no, relax. I'm just fake. Them. Like, if you go through some things and you still trying to work through that shit, you gotta have to. You gotta have to fake it. That's very true. Sometimes you do have to fake it till you make it. Like, so for that's real. What, that's what I'm doing. So. I'm, 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 I'm still here, 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 here. So that's my shit. Make sure y'all go play Tisha Campbell shit. I'm still, still here. Nah, that song is actually the classic. Part. Make sure y'all make sure y'all stream Tisha Campbell. Right, you do it, and it's still like S T E E L. That's yeah, like it's still, not still. No, <laughs> not still here. Still. <laughs> <laughs> but don't stream my sis shit because that's a bop. All that I'm about to play that in the car. That song is mad motivational. She said she a black butterfly, and I felt that shit. <laughs> Not chill, cause black butterfly. You know that song, black butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I felt that shit when she said she a black butterfly. I really felt that. This shit. I'm a black butterfly. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> Come on, Tisha. I felt Maybe that. It was real. Come on, Tish. Yeah, I felt that in my chest. I'm like, you know what? I'm about to be a black butterfly like this weekend. That's what I, I did. Tisha Campbell. Tish was giving it to us real. Yeah, I was like, you know what? That's what I'm going to be, a black butterfly. And that's what Shout I did. Shout out to Tish. Shout out to her. Come on, Gina. Go, Gina. Right. So that was my motivation for this weekend to get dressed. I did that. And then- 
<laughs> I'm like, cause he called me a bum bitch. I'm like, I ain't no motherfucking bum bitch. That's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. That that's a crazy one. But I'm I glad was, that I was I'm glad that he was able to like you know get me out the funk. Get, the, get you out of the funk. I was, <laughs> I was really taken aback. I'm like, I don't give up. I'm gonna say if you keep being a bum bitch, you're gonna try. I'm like, but most of y'all, never mind, never mind. We I'm sorry, get- that is that was. Thank you, friend, for the motivation, though. But Thanks. that was funny. Yes, that was funny to me. Yes. I was like, yeah. And then I wore the diesel crop top. And niggas was like, what does the D stand for? I'm like, don't you be fresh. Don't be fresh. Don't be fresh. Because it's a distinct D. You know what it stands for. Yeah, I'm like, the, the same D. One other D got points and shit on it. Right. Yeah. I'm like, don't don't be annoying. Don't yeah, be don't be don't be annoying. Don't do that. Because now no. you're just being now you're just being childish. Thank and you. Don't do that. And this is why I don't fuck with y'all. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like, that's why I don't fuck with y'all. So I guess I do attract bums because bum niggas be asking me dumb shit like that. I guess so. <laughs> we will. <laughs> We will, we will. Play. Nah, I love black. That's men. the new sound. Nah, we gotta I, add that sound to the board for real. Right, man. like, and we both got to do the voice. We have to do it. Like, we can't just get Patrick. We will. We will. <laughs> I don't know. That could replace the drums because we don't use the drums like that. Yes, that could. That could replace the drums. What else did I do Saturday? I went to the house music festival. I was twirling for a little bit. I had a nice drink. Yeah. The like house music makes you want to twirl. And that's the real house music, not the Drake house music. So, Ooh. we will. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm playing. They played a little bit of the Drake too, though. That's why I was like, it's they funny. Did? Mm-hmm. How did they go? Like, people was dancing? They, or, they or? mixed. I think everybody was fucked up. So, oh, okay. So, we didn't really care. I missed that. We used to do that like every year during the summer, Roselle, and they just bought it back because of the pandemic. So, it was fun. It was great to see everybody again. And then after that, I went to go see Thor. Yeah. I was doing a lot this weekend. I went to go see Thor. It was cute. See Thor? It was good. I, I went to the movies. I'm shocked. I went to the movies. I might go see it. I figured I I, mm-hmm. I like, but I, I like those. I like, that's my shit. Yeah. I love those type of movies, mm-hmm. but. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling like the rollout in the presentation for Thor. Nah, it was okay. it was okay. I wanted more, but it was okay. okay. See, yeah, like I wasn't feeling. I wasn't one hundred percent behind it. Yeah, I didn't pay for the ticket, so I did. Oh no, I get it. Yes, yeah, so I went. It was really good. I mean, it was okay. It was cool. I guess. I just really, I just, I don't want to ruin anything, but I just wanted more. I all I could say the black and white scenes were the best scenes. Mm, okay. That's what I could say. Maybe I will see it. Yo, these birds is flying up to my window. And I don't appreciate it. Um, maybe I will see it. And then Sunday, I went to Basquiat's Bottle and got drunk like an auntie and started snapping on Instagram. Like, you seen the video. I was like, I forgot what song they was playing. But I was drinking. I had my drink. I was like this, like an auntie while everybody else was twerking. Oh, I did see that. In your story. Yeah, that was my weekend. I was just... I just stopped being a bum bitch. It came outside. I, I guess that's to wrap it up. Yeah, I was outside a little bit. Went to brunch with my friends on Sunday. Those mimosas, I don't know what they be putting in the mimosas nowadays. Some they hit a little too hard. Some like they now. be hitting a little too hard now. Because before I used to be, I could just do the mimosas. Like me and the momo, and I used to leave brunch like good, but not like yeah. I was leaving brunch good. Like I was able to function. Now I be like, whoa! Oh, wait, I'm putting these mimosas. To relax. That's crazy. Relax, right? Like okay. maybe y'all not. Maybe they not using Andre no more. Maybe they really using like good champagne because it's right, like, like cause I'm like y'all got stuff y'all budget up because like yeah y'all done stuff y'all mimosa budget up. I had no hang. I'm like I used to have like hangovers and shit. This is like, not the same. This is not the same mimosas y'all was giving me when I was like 23. This is not the same. But unless we, our body is just like. I don't know what's happening. No, I don't. I don't believe it's the same emotion. <laughs> like, I really don't. Because uh, I feel like some I could go to some places that used to go back in the day mm. and I could still survive. The mimosas, <laughs> still survive. What? The mimosas are moving different. It's they they got got orange juice. juice. Now we have pineapple mimosas and we had sorrow mimosas. Wait, where is this place? <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> put it in the chat. <laughs> so, yeah, sorrow mimosa. Let me tell you. So my coconut ass got excited. <laughs> that sorrow mimosa was where is maybe it was place? maybe it was because it was a sour mimosa. Maybe that's what it was. 
Where is this place? Where it was um it's on No Street. I was over there yesterday. What is this place called? Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna text it to you. Please immediately. It's the it's G R O T T O. G R T T O. G R O. Let me see. T T O. Is it a pizza? No, this here. I'm gonna I'm gonna link it in the thing. Not us doing this mitt on live, please. We oh, about to get in trouble. Is, this is important. <laughs> um, share this profile. We about to get in. Okay, I shared it. All right, but yeah, them no, sour mimosas it's important. was busting. Like, I think it was the sour mimosa. I really think that's what it was. Rum punch Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it was the sour mimosas. You see my face, like. I think that's what it was. Like my coconut ass got excited. I was like, "What mimosa?" Yeah, nah, I think the sour mimosas is what did it. I will be because honest. I was. Whew. They got aki and saltfish with ground provision. Yes. <laughs> oh shit! Them niggas have mackerel for brunch. Bro. Mackerel? <laughs> what type of establishment is this? They got. Yo, when I tell, like, when me and my oh, friends saw that on the menu, we was dying laughing. We was like, yo, niggas have mackerel rundown or for brunch, bro. Not a mackerel. I gotta, go. <laughs> I gotta see something. Like, you know how many people don't even know what the fuck mackerel is, bro? I haven't had mackerel in years. For you to have that on a brunch menu is wild. That's different. <laughs> what? <laughs> Child. So you, I was sold on sorrel. Yeah, nah, the sorrel, the sorrel, um, mimosas that did it, that did it for sure. And then I went out to eat, um, Saturday. That was cute. <laughs> this week yeah. is a blur. It's a blur. I did. A yeah, lot. I'm like them mimosas is a blur. I did a lot this weekend. Um, Yesterday. but I got a lot of sh- like July. I really got a lot of shit coming up, so I'm kind of glad that like some of these weekends is like lit but chill because I feel like in the upcoming weekend I'm about to be tired. I'm trying to figure what the fuck I'm doing this weekend. This is the Virgil exhibit, and then Saturday I'm gonna keep that free because I'm scared. I don't feel like doing I feel like I'm about to be tired for a bit. Yeah. My then, last the birthday is coming, and my friend Chanel birthday is coming. She having a party. Then I got a baby shower this month. Damn. I a, yeah, I got some sh- some more shit coming up. So I was very glad that like my weekend was lit. Like me and my friends had a good time at brunch. We got lit, but it was also like I was okay. Like you know, like I ain't have to come in the house at five o'clock in the morning. I didn't have any one of those days this week. Oh so that's, yeah, that's good because I'd have been upset. Yeah, like I just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit upset. I feel like those are coming towards me, and I'm just like, who? It's probably gonna come like during August. I mean, yes. And then my from one of my friends' birthday, she's having mad stuff. Like we had the RSVP in June for all the stuff that she's having in August. So like, it's already like, I'm scared. That's so why I'm like, oh, I'm I riding know. this very lit but chill wave because I know it's about to be turned up be for a while. Yeah, it's about to be turned up for a while, and I'm gonna be tired. <laughs> no <laughs> joke. So I need several naps. Yes, several naps. I'm gonna need to learn how to take naps. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't. I suck at taking like I didn't. I, growing as a kid, I didn't really take naps. I, didn't I don't take recall. Naps as a kid. I, like, don't I literally know. like would do all the shit I had to do, and I went to bed at like eight o'clock, seven thirty, eight o'clock, and I was knocked the fuck out. I didn't really take. Uh, and this is like I don't mean I was doing this at like fucking sixteen. No, this was mm-hmm. like as a child. Like yeah. five, six, once high school hit, I used to take them fucking naps. I didn't even take naps in high school because every day I had a different practice. I didn't have time to take naps. It was really stressful. I always had a practice of basketball, skating, and this. It's like it was too much dance class. It was too much. I I never got to take naps. But in college, weekends. in college, I took some of the best naps of my life. I just I'm sleep right in the common area. Knock the fuck out. I would take some of the best naps of my life in college. Like I remember. When me and my friend moved off campus, and I had this one schedule, this this one year I had this schedule where, where like I only had classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I was in class from like eight a.m. to like six thirty, mm-hmm. right? 
but it was my classes was only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like it was like the perfect schedule. Like I did all my work in between Monday, Wednesday. Like it was the best schedule I ever made for myself. But when I tell you, I had like a small little break on them Tuesdays and Thursdays. I would take the best <laughs> five minute power nap in that break and go right to class and do everything top of my game. Like that was the best. Those are the best naps I ever had in my life. I I can recall. I remember me and my friends used to be passed out on the couch. Not passed out. Like we used to lean on each other's like shoulders on the common area. Not y'all had a nap a nap lean. We had a nap circle. Like we just lean on each other like this. <laughs> yeah, everybody like niggas was tired because the no, gap between our schedules was, was tired. Fun. And then most of us commuted, so people come from Jersey, Connecticut. Philly, so we just all just took a nap. Yeah. Just laid out. Them college naps used to be busting. Yeah, I think fashion school was easy. That shit was fucking exhausting as hell. I was fighting for my life every day. Them college naps was busting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them shit used to be busting. Yeah. Working on campus used to tie, the, tie me out low key because. Me too, because we had to cross like, we. T- I was because one um, building's on 53rd, one building's on 45th. Another building oh, yeah. in, the, in the boonies. I'm like, my nigga, I'm going to pass away. Like, this is, I was in shape back yeah. then. I used to have to walk up and down this hill every fucking day, bro. Man, I used to be in shape because I was an idiot and walking around in Doc Martens and stuff like that. So when I tell you my legs were yeah, I had a pair of Doc Martens. I had a pair of uh, pewter Doc Martens. So just do my shit. <laughs> Not pewter. I did my classic black. I was going through my little fake grunge phase and stuff like that. So yeah, it was like my little rock phase. That's why I got the pewter because I was like, oh, this like that metallic yeah. silver shit. Oh, you was there. You was killing to be edgy. I see you. No, get the fuck. <laughs> you fucking annoying. Not I, I, I used to be Avril Lavigne's biggest black fan. <laughs> we woo, we woo. I'm gonna call it on myself. I was. Everybody- I'm just stressed. He's stressed. <laughs> that was my bitch. I really did love Avril Lavigne. I still I, I be rooting for my sis. She's I, just married. I'm so I happy. Saw, I was a Paramore girl. Oh, you know, Paramore was very good. I, I did enjoy Paramore. I was a I feel yeah. like all black people love Paramore. Yes. I, I really did. They, they songs is lit. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, they they clap on the twos and fours like black people, not on the ones. Right. Two they two don't two dance two. to the words, they dance to the beat. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. We got a little soul. I don't know. Something is on it. I'm like, what about them? Some the palm, most of the palm colors, they hear the one and the three. No, for real, I learned this in music. I'm so serious. They hear the one and the three. So, like, they're not off. There's a beat that they're following. But Which beat is <laughs> No, because every, it go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They hear the one and the three as the prominent beat, where we hear the two and the four. Which is like what you say when you have when you when somebody's in rhythm or somebody mm-hmm. has rhythm is because they hear the two and the four. Where people that don't have rhythm, mostly palm color, they hear the one and the three. So they hear a beat, but it's just not the the one that you would consider to be on rhythm. Why don't they, they hear the one? Why don't they hear the two and the four? Is it like a they rhythm? hear it, but it's not what they feel <laughs> move to? Like you know what I'm saying? What? That's okay, like you feel like all right, like if you turn a song on in front of a group of people and it's mostly black people, mm. when it's time to clap, everybody will clap when they feel it's necessary yeah. to clap, right? I feel like we all clap in unison. Yeah, but they some people when people are not in rhythm and they don't hear the two and the four, they clap with what they hear and they they feel that the one and the three is the beat to clap to. That is so interesting. I there has to be a reason I why in the music class. There has to be a reason why they just I, the, yeah, the, they never explain why, but it was like they I hear the one that. and the three on the beat, and we hear the one, two. Cause like when you think about it, I don't know, like when even when you say if you say one, two, three, four, like in rhythm, you'd be like one, two, three, mm-hmm. four. Black people always emphasize the even number. Why do we do that? Because we hear the two and the four. That's the beat that we hear. That is so interesting. I'm about to be on my I'm about to be Googling this shit when we get off because this we, is very- we hear the two and the four. They hear the one and the three. That is so interesting. I thought that was the most, I was like, wow, for real. And then like every time, every time they played a beat, he would count. The, the music teacher would count every time he would play a different beat. And he'd be like, Tell me when y'all feel comfortable clapping. And we all felt comfortable on the two, the four, the six. If he counted all the way to eight, like we felt comfortable on the two, four, six, eight. 
I'm very I'm just mind fucked right now. I need to do, I need to do more discovery because I need to know why. Now I need to know because I don't know why they hear that, but it's gonna bother me now because I need to know. Why. <laughs> now she gotta look it up. I'm I, don't know, I don't know why people who don't hear the two and the four hear the one and the three. Because it's not just white people that be of some of us. Yeah, no, it's other people. Other I know as well. sometimes with me, like reggae and dance, so I'd be so hard to catch the beat sometimes. It was like 50 11. <laughs> Cause I'm like, which one am I doing? Because, like, you, I guess that's a, that's a good example because it's a one and a three and a two. It's and like the, the upbeat and the downbeat. Because, yeah. like, which like, one? Like, like, you know, like, like G Herbo kind of um raps on the, do- on the downbeat. Like, people no, think he's just... rapping off beat. He's not really rapping off beat, he's rapping on the downbeat. So what does Silk the Shaka do? He just can't rap, period? Like, what does he do? I feel like that was just that accent. Because, <laughs> like, I just, every time, oh, yo, just catch the beat, my nigga. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> you got me weak. But now you really about to research this. Yes, because, like, he bothers me. Like, why can't you rap on beat? Since I was a kid, I noticed that, like, yo, why can't he not rap on beat? I don't know. Like he just gives me. I'm like, I'm just like, son, I can't, I can't dance to the song because I can't. What song that he was rapping on? Was it on Maya moving on? Wasn't he in that song? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, son, you fucked the shit up because I don't know what you were doing. Like, cause like you moving on. Yeah, he fucked the shit up. Cause like, which because the beat is already a little weird and slow. So what are you rapping to? Yeah, that is a different beat. I fuck with it though. It's yeah, cool. I liked it, but he didn't need to be on it. Please. <laughs> he didn't need to be on it because I was very genuinely confused. You so that, so Silk raps on the one and the three, or he just make up his own, or he'd be like one and two <laughs> or one and four. Cause like I don't understand. Cause he ain't doing one and two without all of them. He has to do all of them. Because I'd be gen not yeah. Listen. Whoever's listening, y'all think about that. What beat does Silk the Shock the Rap on? <laughs> and you let me know. Because I don't know. Nah, nah, it's over the camera. On Instagram or, or, or tweet us right, on Twitter. No, because now I'm on like. Podcast on both Instagram and Twitter and tell me. Or you have my number or just DM me. Just let me know which one he raps on. Because I'm genuinely confused now. Because now I brought this up and now I have to figure it out. I feel like he does one and four. Like, Yo, he, is that not <laughs> he does something that's not because one and three is still a beat, a rhythm, and two and four is still a rhythm. He's not on neither of those fucking spectrums. He's not on neither of them. So which is it? Is it one and four? Two, that, three? He's just doing his thing, bro. He's just two, doing his thing. <laughs> he just doing his thing. That's all. I need to know. Somebody got to answer this for me. He just doing his thing. That's all. He do. He. I'm glad he stopped. <laughs> all right, y'all. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, we can start with a little streetwear. Start with a little streetwear. Uh oh. <laughs> doing kid things. You know how that goes. Um, so if I we're gonna try something new today on the on the on the stream yard. You know, we had to add a little razzle dazzle. Right. Make sure that you watch this on YouTube. I thought you were going to do your accent. So you can see everything that's going on. Okay. So Kiff is doing Kiff things. You know, they have their Monday program. Voila. They are where they had, they dropped all this Spider Man um, memorabilia, all these Spider Man things, like a Pez container, all these different things. Um, but everything was really pricey. Some of the comic books were like $175. Some were 150, 145, but this really threw me for a loop here. So it says Kith is selling a Spider-Man street sign for 145 bucks as a vintage item that you can currently buy at the Hobby Lobby for $16.99. I'm shook. Is this the state of streetwear? So first of all, y'all like to go on y'all like that. Click the link. Okay, so Kith. Oh, it's sold out. So yeah, Kith, not there no more. It's sold out on Kiff, but that shit is real life $16.99 on Hobby Lobby. Like, if you, you let bring, y'all just let this man take your money. If you bring up the look, hold on, because I now I have to share this screen because I really need y'all to see that that shit is real life $16.99, <laughs> bro. Like, look at this shit, dog. It's really 
It's the same sign, bro. Y'all let this man take your money. The same what? sign. It's sixteen ninety nine. Hobby. Listen, like somebody could buy this and say it's kiss. I might do that. Same here because like what? <laughs> Like, I need to see, I need somebody to do an unboxing of the Kip joint just to make sure like they ain't put they right. they ain't add no Kip they ain't add no shit to it but they it's literally no identical and it's sixteen ninety nine bro I'm surprised he ain't add Spider Kiss Street or something like that because you know how he be a hundred and forty five dollars for a sign that you can buy for sixteen ninety nine yeah I'm is this what we're doing in the community now what well, that's not our community stop it I'm shutting up. We woo, we woo. But when I said community, I mean streetwear, sneaker and streetwear. I know. I, being a dick. I know I was being an ass. I don't really mean that. But I know. But like what? 145. I can understand making a profit, but that's bugging. That's a that's not a profit. That's robbery. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I understand, okay, like if it was a high, you know, something you wanted to do, whatever, you bought them in bulk for whatever price. And if it, it cost $16.99 on one page, you sold it for like, I don't know, $30. I'm not going to be mad at you. I wonder if you actually got the from Hobby Lobby. 145 is reckless. Y'all let him take y'all my, his y'all money. Mm-mm-mm. I told you, I can't wear his stuff because it just doesn't sit well. I only have one hoodie and that was because it was a gift. It doesn't sit well with my spirit. I can't do it. It's I a have very cool hoodie though. I ain't gonna lie. I very, had to keep the both hoodie. I had the kids both hoodie before, like for me, the first one that ever came out. I had that because it was purple and it matched my sneakers. But I got rid yeah. of that. That's I have that one hoodie because it was a gift. I ain't gonna lie. Like sometimes some of the shit, I'd be like, "Ooh, this is type fire," he's, but he's, I just don't like, bring myself to do it. Yeah, like I saw what he did with the wire, and I'm just like. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I'm usually not a fan of a lot of the, like, um, collab shit because it just be him slapping a picture of the person on it and and then say Kiff, like, yeah. Ooh. Groundbreaking. It's like, like, groundbreaking. I mean, like, their actual collections, like, their summer collections, like, their actual pieces, I tend to find, like, some pieces I'd be like, ooh, this is fire. I'm I give it to them and their quality. I just don't be bringing, it, like, bringing it myself be, to purchase. I'm not. There's other brands. Yeah, I just don't be bringing myself to purchase. But, like, that's the stuff that I'm more so be like, oh, nah, this is fire. Like, even when, like, the only shit that I do, I do think, like, it's technically a collab is, like, when they do the Olympic shit. Sometimes that shit really be fire. I, I agree. Be. I remember that. I like what they did with the Olympic shit be fire. But like sometimes like just the like like when he did the Martin Luther King collab or like yeah, that shit pissed me off. It's like, just like Martin didn't fight for this. I was about to say something out of pocket and we would have had to put mad wee woo. So I'm not even gonna say <laughs> was mine safe to say what? But Martin didn't fight for this. Oh, no, no, no. That was safe. I was about to say Martin was fighting for something, but... Child. We stop, will. Stop, stop, stop. You gotta go like this. Ooh, wee, woo. Like this. What was that thing on the... It... Don't say that. Don't oh. say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Shh. Don't say that. <laughs> she was like... That movie was trash. I was so pissed off at that shit. Yeah. I I, I'm movie. not gonna say that. I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah, but... Don't say that. I like I said I like I like their you know like a lot of their their the shit that they put out solely as them as a brand but I like some of the the Knicks Kiff stuff was cool but I didn't Absolutely. I like the shoes better than I like the stuff so I was like I'm, if I don't get the shoe I'm not gonna buy the other stuff I plead the fifth because it just ain't make sense to me but you know I'm a big Knicks fan so like Knicks shit always kind of excites me. Okay. But um. Oh, we've got more sneaker drama, the reels and the fakes. What is going on, y'all? Ladies and gentlemen, I think y'all are getting a little too, too... Sneaker Twitter's in a tizzy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, new, it's a, a little present over there. Every day it's in a tizzy. Like, I'm you know? like, what's good with y'all? I can't even keep up. Yeah, like, is there nothing positive we have to talk about? Like, yeah, I know we, you know, I know there's things that we could complain about. There's things that we could talk about. Like, every day, like, we don't have nothing good to talk about. It seems like not. Because, like, yeah, it's tizzy all the time. Like, people be beefing. It's just like, bro. I'm like, damn, it's just shoes. Why what can't we just love the shoes and, and, right. and get a lot? Buy it if you like it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. 
Because okay. I like being in different like sneaker communities and shit. Because like I like to see everybody's style different. Because like I always feel like things being exclusive to me are cool, but then it's also like I don't really get into that too much because I feel like everybody brings something different to the whatever piece it is every time they put it on because everybody's style is different. Like, yeah, so if they make ten thousand shoes and ten thousand people have them, and I'm one of the ten thousand, like I don't be pressed like, oh, all these people got the shoe because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go outside and rock the shoe. How I rock the shoe. That's huh? a given. It's a shoe. It's a that's gonna happen. It's a shoe. Yeah, like so, like I like to be in those communities and see people wear shit that I don't necessarily wear, but it it looks amazing on them, or like have shoes that I have and see how they rock it. Like I think that's all the cool part of it. Like I don't know, but but you know you can't you can't be an individual. You gotta look like everybody else now because you know the sneaker community is that weird. Yeah, like it's y'all y'all are making it weird. Like y'all are turning it into something that's like. That it shouldn't be you doing the most. Yeah, like you're doing the most. Like it just used to be fun to be fly and have your good shoes. I don't like, know now. We just post our sneakers and go. Everybody has to have a think piece about stuff. It's very weird. Yeah, like like for instance, this tweet that was this guy. Let's see. Let me read it to you. I said, "Listen, if you cop shoes, you and can share it. Oh Remember? yeah, I can share it. I can share it. Yeah, we gotta do magic. I'm a share it. I'm a share it." Okay, it's this one. Okay, so it says, listen, if you cop any shoes, any shoes after market, it's a high chance that shit is fake. With that said, you got to stop worrying about it, sadly. Until this market is fixed and we're short and we're for sure fire ways. What? And we for sure fire ways to know real and fake. Okay, I don't know what he was. I give him shit. <laughs> I couldn't read, bro. Just rock your shit. I, told you, I think it's other people that the way they be, be other people. Be other, other people. I can read. I can read. <laughs> I can read exactly. Um, I just feel like have we got to the point where we feel like everything is fake? It depends on when you get it and when you like. I don't like. I can understand. Like sometimes, um, way before market, like way before the shit drops. Is a little sketchy to me. Yeah, because like you seeing mad YouTube reviews on shoes that ain't even really come out yet. It could be like a couple months in advance. And now, you have the shoe. right? That's some weird. people, some people, shit is real. Like some people do have that inside scoop. It's some not everybody. Up, but like, yeah, it's not everybody. I'm not gonna name names. I'm not gonna do none of that because I don't even really know who shits is like. But I do know that there are some people that really are plugged in and they shit is not fake. But I mean, like, if the shit's random. supposed to come out. In January of 2023, and you got that shit now. You walking down the street. Ah. It's a little sketchy. Unless you made the shoe your damn self. Ain't no right. It's way. giving sketchy, right? Like, ain't no fucking way. Unless you put it that summer. Because I wouldn't even think those shoes would be in production right now. Like, I don't even know if you got them shits. Like, them shits is real. But, it's like. Giving, it's giving Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving Alibaba. Ain't no fucking no, it is giving Alibaba, but like I just feel like I don't know, like y'all are turning this shit into something that's just not like I don't know what it I don't even know what it is anymore. It's just very weird. I'm not a fan. Yeah, it's It's just like like, I feel like I'm not having a good time anymore. What are y'all doing? I'm not having fun at all because it's getting it's very easy, they very clicky. Um, that's one, yeah, like. To, why are we clicking up over shoes? Like, I thought we were just all supposed to, like... I thought we were all supposed to get the shoe. Why are we clicking up over shoes? That's weird. And enjoy us, the fact that we all fuck with something and, and it's bringing us all together. It's very, it's very clicky. Then you have these think pieces and stuff like that on that. There's, the, the there's no there's no need for think pieces because what it's a shoe. What are you thinking about? Unless you're talking about, like, unless you talk if you like it or not, it's nothing to think about. Unless you're talking about the actually like the design of the shoe, okay, think piece. If there's a story behind the shoe, okay, I understand the think piece. But if you're doing right. a think piece on like why people want the shoe because it's a hype shoe, shut up. Like, right, like you want to do a think piece, do a think piece on why Nike didn't have a better rollout for the Lisa Leslie dunk. Like, do a think piece. That's on that. one. And then you if you want to do a think piece, talk about why people were buying a Nina Chanel shoes just to fucking sell them, but they know the heart, the art between about the shoe. You just straight up calling it ugly, but y'all don't even know why they look the way they do. Can we talk about that? Right. That was the thing pieces that y'all need to have. That's, that's what you have. Yeah, too busy taking pictures of people's feet while they out talking about I think these shits is fake. Right. What? You saw that when they took a picture right. of the guys Travis Scott's 
and it was like every time I see big figure shoes out, I always wonder if the person's shoe is fake. Why are you worried about their pockets and what they wear? Do you have them? That should be getting me tight. And that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> now, there is a market of people because uh, I be seeing them on TikTok that purposely buy fake shoes, and I feel it like is. that's a different conversation. But like, if you purchase shoes on, you know, aftermarkets and you were told that they were real and you believe that they, they are to be real and you don't know them to be fake. Like, I don't think that's a, that's a, 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 a something that you should look down on that person for because that person initially was paying for it or something that they believe to be real. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's one thing, like I said, to buy, purposely buy fake she purposely buy the Alibaba joints, right? <laughs> like that's different. It's but just, if you bought your shoes off of an aftermarket and you trusted for them to be real, I don't think people should really go after you because you paid for them to be real. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you you pay that much money in hopes that they would be real shoes, right? Like, and I don't think that every time you see people out with like a specific shoe, you need to be wondering if they fake. Like whenever I see people with off white fours, I'm gonna be like, oh, I wonder if they should fake. Like I just right. be like, damn, they didn't give me none. Like. <laughs> But I don't ever want to be like, oh, no, nah, I think they should just fake. Like, I don't think that about people's shoes when I see them. Y'all think it too hard about shoes and y'all not, like, this just weird. This want weird, to be though. a fly. I'm like, if you don't got them, mind your business. If you, just stop. That's very I just weird. think it too hard about shoes and not. And so not. In any case, things, I don't be walking around saying, oh, them shit's fake, this, that, and the third. I don't give a fuck what you do. Yeah. That's like, just given, don't like just don't purposely buy them shits fake and then walk around and tell people exactly because then you, exactly I'm not about to sit here because then it's like I right, well what's the point bro like do you really like the shoes or like are you trying to prove some other kind of point here because it's not it's not giving that was like somebody said the other day on Twitter like the girl was like um yeah I be spending all your money on these designer bags and I be buying the fake ones. Like, cause they don't even, they, these brands don't even like black people. I'm like, like, you but you're still buying the fake version of the bag, idiot. Like, you're not, <laughs> what case are you trying to make here, sweetie? What's not clicking? Are you saying you cheat? Or right, you just, like, what is it? Like, you if, you, if, the, if you feel like the brand don't mess with black people, like, then why, why are you buying fake one either? Like, bag? like, you, right, exactly. You claim that the bag, the, the company don't, don't like black people. But here you are buying a fake version of the bag. Like, make it make sense. I'm like, like, ooh, I'm cutting corners, bitch. You look stupid. Like, you talking about the girl with the Hermes bag? I don't know if that's where the conversation started. Oh, because I saw that girl apart on Twitter by accident because everything was wrong about it. She's talking about, oh, you can't even tell. I'm like, girl, yes, the fuck you can't. That box is trash. The the first of all, the bag was wrapped in plastic. The bag's not supposed to be wrapped in plastic. It's not supposed to be wrapped in plastic. The hardware is shiny as fuck. No, they're not supposed to be wrapped in plastic. A Hermes, well, imagine an Hermes bag coming wrapped in plastic, please. Right, like, yo, send it back. Like, what? I'm like, I know it's my cheap. I know it's my burnt rubber. Like, fuck out of here. Imagine Hermes gave you a bag wrapped in plastic, not a dust bag. Right, it wasn't even, a, it came with a dust bag, but the bag wasn't even a dust bag. So, like, what is not clicking? And the dust bag looked weird as shit, too. That orange on the box was wrong. Girl, this is, this is my old job. A distinct talking. orange, isn't it? A licensed color of orange, like other. Yeah, people. this is my old job talking. I would, t I tore that shit apart because that should make no damn sense. Yeah, no, because it really is a licensed color of orange. Yeah, like I don't just think it's like there's a trademark and license, and nobody else can use that. Color. Like, just like there's a Tiffany blue. Like, yeah, there's an Hermes orange. That's wild. Yeah. And she's talking about oh, this and the third. Oh, I'm cutting corners. You can't even tell, girl. Are yes, you, you can. Is it looks cheap? The girls that get it get it like <laughs> the girls that get it get it like it you looks bad. Yes, yeah, she fake. That's like buying a fake ass. Like, yeah, I mean, now I'm not trying to because y'all know I'm a firm believer in like not watching people's pockets. I don't give a fuck on what you right. spend. Yeah, I don't care. I just want y'all to not look like dummies. Don't I feel like if you want to buy a fake bag, don't post it over social media. That's that's weird. That's not even that. I was about to take it even further. But, don't post some fake shit that you couldn't get in real life. Like. Yes, stay in your get, <laughs> if you want to get a fake bag, get a fake Gucci bag. It's right, possible for you to obtain one of those. Don't get no fake Chanel, but you don't have ten thousand dollars to spend on a bag. Hermes is like thirty six thousand dollars and up. Like, why are you buying a fake Hermes? But especially crocodile, now you're pushing it because that shit's a lot. You're bugging get you a fake Gucci bag, sis. Get right. you a fake Louis, like these are obtainable, right? Not buying a fucking Hermes bag. That usually costs like 30. It costs more. It's like salary. 
A Hermes bag is a salary. So like, and she wanted like, a fake Chanel bag. So it's yeah, like she, oh your roll. Yeah, I think the one that she had was like a crock embossed one. I'm like, yo, you're bugging because and you like I said, I'm I'm swear to you, I'm really not trying to tell you how to spend you your money, but it's like here. girl, you looking to get called out because you cannot you make it believable. Let me try to find the two. You, you as a bank teller at Wells Fargo, you cannot buy a Hermes like. <laughs> I'm dead. And that's no disrespect. I, yo, bank tellers save my life every fucking day. They saved my life the other day because somebody tried to somebody tried to stick me for my paper. But <laughs> you're like, damn. I'm so sorry. I'm, like, mad, I'm mad corny because you said somebody tried to stick me for my paper. And I said, damn, I'm sorry. Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but for real. And the teller, the bank teller helped save my life. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I'm trying to put it in perspective. Like you gonna get you a little fake bag, sis. Get oh, you something that everybody that people wouldn't think twice if it was fake. You know how I many bitches got fake Louis bags in the hood, but nobody think twice if it's fake because it's an obtainable purse. Like you could save your money in a month and get you a Louis. Right. I found you it. You cannot I save your money in a month and get you a Chanel bag. You can't save your money in a month and get you an Hermes. So don't pop out in the hood with a fake Hermes. We gonna I, know. Let me see if I could put it in the thing. Cause this shit look crazy. We gonna know, sis. And I just you oh you gonna share it? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can do it. Share it to the screen, sis. Like we just gonna know. And I'm I, like I said, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm not trying to look down on nobody's shit. Y'all know I don't get down like that. I just don't want y'all to be outside looking crazy. Cause that's looking crazy. Right. Now, if you if you hobnobbing and you networking and you trying to fit in with the fit-ins, by all means do your thing. But if you just trying to pull up to Bella Noches. Do not get you a fake Chanel bag. It's not worth it, sis. Hold on, let me figure out how to do this. I'm not technology. Not sure, I'm not, I don't I really don't be trying to knock people's dreams. Because y'all know that's okay. not how I give it up. That's not how I give it up. I be want everybody, I want all of us to have all our riches. I want all of us to have everything. But yo, y'all be st- and then because the thing is she got online trying to defend it and and and, and wild out on people Here for we it. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this, y'all. I'm scared. Let me make sure I've got... Let me get the holes. Let me start this shit over, because it... Y'all, so I'm seeing her open packages, right? And I get this box, I'm like... "Mm." I don't want to hear her voice, because it makes me angry. Mm. Hmm. What was she saying? Look. Oh, no. What? What is this? What is this? Girl. What is that? Wait, why the black line so... I told you. Thick. Exactly. No, sis. Wow. Wait, what? Yes. Yes. No. Sister. No. (laughs) Ma'am. Ma'am. Wait, what? That's a plastic bag? Yes. No. That look at that. That Hey. That's not the dust bag. Yes. What is that H? It's like a horseshoe. Yeah. Oh, Look. it's wrapped in plastic. Oh, uh, no. You. It's wrapped in plastic. <laughs> it's wrapped in plastic. No. Look. No. Wait, why that H look like that? It's not supposed to look like that. Because that, no. That looked like a magnet for the kitchen for when you was a little. <laughs> <laughs> You see how shiny that is? If you want to get a fake or mask, get regular leather. Don't get croc. Yeah, don't get crocodile. That's, that's given crazy. embossed. That's not even croc. That's given embossed. <laughs> look at that. That's not even supposed to say that. On oh my god. Look I'm at getting... that. No, look at the hand. No, no. And see, that's what I'm talking about, baby girl. No. Don't do that. Oh, look at the. <laughs> look at the purse. Look at the purse. No, no. Take that off the screen. Look at the purse. What is she doing? Out. She going out. No. Oh! <laughs> All right. Enough. Enough. No. Enough. No. And see, that's what I mean. Like, just don't. I just don't want y'all to be out here looking crazy. That's really it. That's it. I just don't want y'all to be out here looking crazy. I just want my people to do better. I feel like I got to turn the light on. It's getting darker by me. Hold on. Brief intermission. Not brief intermission. You got me reach. <laughs> Yo, 
There we go. We back. There you go. You can see me now. But yeah, that shit was crazy. Ain't no way. Ain't yeah, no. Way. That was different. No. I like the screen sharing thing. I can say it's cute, right? Yeah, I like this. Okay, so I'm gonna head on to this one. This one bullet point, so I could get all this off my chest. Oh, um, NBA, WNBA. This weekend was the WNBA All Star Weekend, um, held in Chicago. Um, a lot of the fans had a lot to say about it. Um, for instance, that little the ass trophy challenge and the three point contest were not events that were available to, for the fans to attend. Um, they made it for like media and um, the high school girls from the AAU teams that were out there having a tournament. I can understand why they invited the young ladies, but I do believe that it should have been somewhere else, somewhere bigger, and also should have been allowed for fans. Because if y'all want to expand and y'all want money, who's going to give you money but the fans? Right. You invited the girls there. That means that they're there for free. The media is there to do their job. They're getting paid to be there. So it's kind of giving y'all spent all this money and y'all not getting anything in return. It made no sense. Then... We head into the WNBA All Star Game on Sunday. Sylvia Fowl, shout out to shout out to the homegirl Sil. Um, she dunked in the game. I feel like it was very necessary for her to do that because she is also retiring. But the W is not giving her any love like they given Sue, Sue Bird and Diana Taurasi, possibly because we don't even know if that lady is really retiring. <laughs> um, so it's given like Sue had to give the game ball to Sil because they ain't even give a. Give Sylvia a game ball. Like, that's wild disrespectful. Don't ever do that. Sylvia, did the, first of all, Sylvia is a two-time champion, four-time defensive player of the year, including last season. She won defensive player of the year last season. Why y'all treating her like that? That deserve a bomb because you just dropped the stats. Why y'all treating her like that? Like, two-time finals MVP. Like, both times she went to the finals, she won the ring and she was the final MVP. Like, come on. Like, let's... Why are we disrespecting sis like this? Like, it just don't make sense. Um, Then they disrespected KP. They gave her that little bitty trophy because uh, she won All-Star MVP. Like, it was given participation trophy. That's wild. Like, you could have got that from Party City for six, under $20. They have better shit on Amazon. Like, like you could have gave, like, even, a, you know, the Dundee from, um, which I'm calling off. That looked better. Why would y'all hand sis that little ass trophy? Sorry, you gave her a participation trophy. That's weird. I saw that. So, like, since they didn't let the fans into the skills challenge and all that stuff, shout out to Allie Quigley for winning four times. Uh, she's a four time three point uh three point contest champion. No man or woman has more four point contest. I mean, three point contest uh chips outside of Allie Quigley. She is the only one. So, shout out to Allie Quigley, the shooter. That's Always got to respect the shooter. Um. But so they didn't let the fans in, but they had this like WNBA live experience outside in the park. Mm -hmm. And the people that were there were just saying like it wasn't enough stuff for like them to like be there all day. Like, you know, like to want to be a part of it all day. Like there was a few things going on. They said it was it was pretty easy to like, you know, see some of the, the players and stuff like you could just like wait in the hotel lobby and like some of them would like take pictures with everybody and that kind of stuff. But, like, they were just, like, people were saying, like, it didn't give, like, it was All-Star Weekend. Like, all, NBA All-Star Weekend, you know you when know. It, you, you know. know. Yeah, because I'm, given. like, I didn't really hear anything about it. I just saw your tweets. You know when that shit is given. So, it's, like, I don't understand. Oh, also, shout-out to Sabrina Unescu. She won the Skills Challenge. Shout-out to the Liberty. We got a trophy, y'all. We finally got one. We finally got <laughs> one. We finally got one. Um, But, yeah, I just feel like they're not – Kathy – you really got to do better because what did you do with that 75 mil, sis? It's giving you spent it on Bitcoins because what's happening with the league? Like, I understand, like, <laughs> 2025 and, like, when the NBA was 25 years into it, they didn't have all the things that they have now. Yes, the NBA is 75 years old, blah, 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 blah. But i just feel like yes enough for 25 for the 25th year to be in 2022 i still i feel like you're just not doing enough this is giving half assed yeah it's like do y'all really do y'all really want to grow the game do y'all really want to expand do y'all really want to gain more fans or do y'all just 
want this shit to crumble and fall apart at some point. Because, like, I know I could speak. I really don't watch it like that. But I would if it was more interesting. Like, I'm not and saying that. Yo, play. that's the thing. The lead is so heard, much spice right now. And I heard. I, I've been seeing your tweets. I'm like, damn, let me go tune the fuck in real quick. Like, it's so oh, like don't get it twisted. I used to love basketball as a kid, but I just guess I'm just... so spicy right now. The league, like, it's so much drama in the league right now. Like, and I just feel like they don't even make a segment for it, like, on any show, you know what I mean? Like, any they should have a sports show. Show like, they women. should literally have like a WNBA that's show. That's what I was about to say. They should have a sports show for women. I, why, why don't they do that? Why don't you say right. a sports show? Just put a sports show on for women and like talk about. It, you could talk about all the difference with soccer, basketball, like just put that shit on because I feel like y'all don't talk about any of it and people just don't like you have to literally be an avid follower and pay attention to know and then because you know like the dub the NBA should just be online, like you just, yeah, it just be there in your face. The WNBA, I feel like you have to search for it. You have to search for it, and I feel like that's not y'all we are claiming y'all want to move forward, but all yeah. y'all ever do is talk, expand. All y'all ever do is, oh, we want to expand. We want to do this. We want to do this. I don't see it. But I feel like y'all are also looking for the wrong audience. Like, y'all always concerned about if men are watching or if it's like, about, it ain't about don't it. worry about them. Like, y'all have a bunch of pe- women and also there are a lot of men who are genuinely into the WNBA, but y'all too worried about getting people who don't who actively be under the comments saying, oh, this is, this is not a sport. This is this. Like, y'all actively trying to change their minds instead of Pleasing the fans yeah, that are actually watching already. That makes sense. Like, they, I'm like, you know how much the fact is that the WNBA doesn't use their marketing budget correctly. You know, no, how they don't. like especially like for lace, lace fronts and stuff like that, nails, lashes, makeup. You know why don't because girls' know? lashes be done and they be sweating yeah. and playing? The and edges still weird. be like, Candace Walker edges is always laid. Yeah, like I need that edge control. Why don't I know about the edge control? Like, like y'all just not y'all just not doing that. having their faces be so like why mm-hmm. don't and don't and it don't be going and it don't move like why don't we know about that why don't um WMEA players don't have their own makeup lines stuff like that or like a sponsorship for makeup I remember stuff. somebody made an eye palette and it was a fucking NBA teams it was color yeah it was color pop I was like why is it for the um NBA that's dumb like it's just like i don't know what they're doing but like they i also blame a lot of the media as well like some of the some of the media girls that do get to cover the w i feel like they tweet certain things and they say certain things like when they're on clubhouse or when they're on twitter spaces but when they're in the space to say it in front of the people that they need to say it in front of i feel like they just they be like oh yeah expansion is it up but y'all don't be telling them where they're wrong like or yeah or how they can do that there's so many fucking brands they could work with out here like yeah don't be like, like calling kathy out on her bs like if Adam Silver did some dumb shit, you best believe all the NBA niggas on Twitter would be calling him out on the dumb shit that he did. Y'all don't be calling Kathy out. Y'all be trying to appease her. Like, there's no point in doing that. Yeah, she's wrong. When she's wrong, she's <laughs> wrong. You call her out. You're not going to lose your job. You work for ESPN. Like, you're not going to lose your job because you call Kathy out. Call Kathy out. That's what the league needs. We need that shit to turn around. Like, it's just very weird because they're just missing out on big opportunities. Because, like, if I was like, if I was watching it, I would like to see, oh, the because, like, my at the end of the day, we're still women. So I would like to see the makeup deals that they're doing. I would like to see the clothes that they're wearing and stuff like that. I want to see the tunnel fits. More. Yeah, like, some of y'all recently just started doing tunnel fits, but y'all are not consistent with it. Like, yeah, like I see, like I'm on the pages and stuff like, like the, that. Yeah, I, like the, the the teams and like yeah, they don't be posting the tunnel fits enough. Like, like I want to see stuff like that. That will make me watch it more. Yeah, I they do more outside. Work. Like I bought my because, like for example, you see the w, the NBA fucking tunnel fits all over the fucking Instagram and stuff like that. Why oh, don't day, day. I literally have to search for it? Because I remember we were trying to post them on our page and it was so hard to find them because we literally had to search for them. You literally had to go to like the team's page and hope that they posted some, or people. even the person that I was actually wearing. Right, or you had to go to the players' page and hope that like the last tunnel fit that they had wasn't right. like from three weeks ago. Like, it's- and they still haven't bought back the jersey dress. Are y'all fucking kidding me? Yeah, y'all I'm missing a big opportunity. Jersey dress back, like to be honest. Are y'all dumb? It's the 25th year of the W. Why do I like, not? Y'all should definitely. 
yeah, it's the 25th year, and Lisa Leslie just turned 50. Y'all should turn her jersey into Where a dress. Where the fuck is that jersey dress? Y'all need to turn right. Lisa Leslie jersey into a dress right now. Right now. I order. Yeah. I order. Right files now. a dress because she retiring, like, yeah. Where are the dresses? Give us a Maya Moore dress because my sis never wants to get this Parker dress. I want, I had a, I'm like, I want my Lisa Leslie dress. My sis never going to touch the court again. So give us a Maya Moore dress because <laughs> never going to touch the court again. Like, what's good with y'all? My sis freed her man and had a baby and everything. I just, I got to have a moment of silence because she, I'm sorry. My sis never going to touch the court again. That's even crazy. I, I, so even I know that too. I just see, I know about that shit. That's crazy. My sis, Free her man from jail, had her son, and she just at never least, touched the court again. At least she ain't pull Sheree. At least she ain't, you watch, you watch. At, at least he ain't do it like Tyrone. Yo, have you been watching that shit? Yes, I watch. I watch. Wait, I didn't watch. I didn't watch yesterday. I just watched it before I started. That's what I said. Oh, give me. Okay. That's what I said. That was my plan. My plan was to watch yesterday tonight. That's what I said. Give me ten minutes. I gotta finish this. <laughs> that shit was getting good. No, my plan was to watch because I just watched um last week's um. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna pause it. Like, girl, give me ten minutes. <laughs> this is no. Okay, see, now I gotta, I gotta watch. But that was my plan. My plan was to watch that tonight. Yeah, I'm like, cause it's just like <sighs> the WNBA got to do better. Cause like, unfortunately, I'm the type of girls like I need to see the extra shit behind the scenes to make me want to watch the game. Right. Like y'all not doing enough interviews. Like I would like to see interviews. With, I'm like, just I'm not doing people. enough. Like exactly, I don't even watch the NBA, and I always know what's going on in the NBA like that. But oh, with the WNBA, I like I'm like I'm not even I'm like I know I'm a yay, like I know I'm a yay sports girl. I be playing. I used to watch sports. <laughs> I'm like, let me stop saying that. I used to play basketball, and I used to watch it a lot. But you know, we get into different hobbies when we get older. So I just kind of grew out of it. Yay sports! I, I'm like I gotta show you my, if I could. Well, my parents got my pictures, but yeah, I used to play, but. I just grew out of it. They just, I don't, I just be getting annoyed with them too, low key. Like, because I just be feeling like I'm, I want y'all, if I like, why do the fans want y'all to be better more than y'all want to be better? Right. Like, and I'm not blaming the players, I'm blaming the organization. Yeah. Cause like, there's so much things they can do. Don't steal our ideas now, though. But like, this, pay me. But this, <laughs> you take it, come back and pay me. Right. Like, get us or like something. But like, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. They could do so much better. Some coins, coins, because like this degree ain't gonna pay itself. But yeah, <laughs> oh god, yeah. it's true. They could do so much, so much more. Like I'm the type of person that has to see what's going on behind the scenes to make want to watch the game. And the games be lit. Like I just. Especially like certain matchups, like that should be lit. But why don't they like, like you know the how girls like, be comp- the girls be competing? And like you know, girls like, be doing stupid shit too. But like guys be doing stupid shit in basketball and, and <laughs> all the time. Like then, niggas know when it's time for them to stop shooting the ball and pass it up, and they don't. Like you like, I'm just thinking about all the things they can do. Like you know, they, there's so many women rappers right now. Why don't they get them to the games? They had Big Lotto do the um had the the uh they had Big Lotto do a show after this game. Yeah. That's cool. I didn't know that though. Why didn't we know that? They streamed it on the, the on the the league pass, WNBA oh, league pass. Have that shit. <laughs> they like this other like you know how like this other place you can watch the, w, the NBA too. Why don't they do that for WNBA? Like I'm just like sometimes the games be on ESPN and they be on ABC, but it depends. Like I feel like there should be more games on yeah, um, and they do be having a lot of games on Prime Video. On okay. Prime, like by Prime, they yeah. do. They have had a decent amount of games on Prime. I didn't know that. And CBS Sports Network. Yeah, they have some games on there too. I but like, don't say that sometimes it do it do be a decent amount of games on ESPN and and um like Prime Video. See, I wish they would say that more because I didn't know that. And the other day, I think it was a game. The Sparks game was live on Twitter, but there was no need to watch that because they got their ass beat. So. <laughs> I've been seeing tweets. I've been laughing. I'm like, girl, she going through it over there. It's no need to watch that because they was getting their ass beat. I was like, damn, I turned that shit off after a while. I'm, I mean, I'm not a Sparks fan anymore because Candace Parker is no longer there. Um, it's always fuck you, Derek Fisher. But they was getting their ass beat. So <laughs> we, we, I know that too. That's like I told you, like. You gotta add more gossip. You gotta add more shit to it. Like I that's mean, what I'm saying. Like I, 
if half of the shit that's going on in the league right now was going on in the NBA, it would be the, the main topic on first take every morning. Steven right. A. would have busted a fucking gasket. Like, he would have had an aneurysm, bro. Like, like I know, like, I know. you know he always be yelling. Yeah. Not even on some typical girl shit, but I need the fluff. I need the gossip. It's no, because it's to, to go with it. Girl, the tea be hot. Me, the girl, I need that the to girl go be with subtweeting it. each other and all of that. See, like, I, like they need, I need to see that. It'd be spicy. Like, I need to see shit like that, unfortunately, because, you know, I, I'm a woman and I like to see extra shit before I get into the actual game. Like, the, um, the, they made fun of Kelsey Plum's, um, MVP award. They did, like, her teammates, they did a, <laughs> they did, like, a fake ceremony and they had, you know, those little go-go squeeze applesauce in the yeah. green packets? Yeah. They had one of those and they was like, the MVP goes to Kelsey Plum. And they was like, holding that shit. That's fucked up. They really gave her a participation trophy. No, that shit is so funny. They, but really gave, saying, like, they gave her a you know, dundee. You be doing shit, but you just they, gotta, like, you gotta know. They really gave that woman a dundee. I don't appreciate that. They gave her a dundee award. And a dundee looks better than that. Yo, and I don't understand why they didn't give her a glass award like they give everybody else a hey, glass. Like, three point contest, that? you get the glass. The skills challenge, you get the glass. Why they just ain't give her a glass you, award? You gave her a tin cup. Like what is that? <laughs> like why are like, you just glass? You literally gave her a goblet. Is that a goblet? Like a like a little drinking shit? Like like, <laughs> you know, like a chalice? It's called a chalice, right? Something like that. Yo, sister, they gave her a chalice. Yeah, they gave her a pimp cup. A, they definitely gave her a fucking pimp cup. <laughs> they gave KP a pimp cup. Oh, Damn, <laughs> son. Like they could do so much better than that. They could have had a woman came in and make that shit look cute. At least bedazzle the pimp cup, like something. Have her, was her name on it? I think that would, they do that afterwards because they don't know who's going to win the shit. Oh, okay. okay I think even they do that in the NBA, like they put the name on afterwards because you don't know who the fuck is going to You can't even fucking see that shit small as hell. Huh? That fucking trophy small as shit. Where are you going to put it? You're going to put her initials on it. <laughs> I think they just get their names engraved on it afterwards. Cause like I said, you don't know who's going to win the war. And by the time you know who win, the, who's going to win the war, I don't know if it's already done. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, cause sometimes maybe like the MVP, they they have it done. Cause by the time they figure out all the voting, but like mm -hmm. live in game awards, like like the All Star Game Award, mm -hmm. the MVP, like niggas don't know who's going to win that shit. That's so sad. I think they don't engrave it until afterwards. They're gonna have to put her initials on that shit because that's just smart. Right, just KP because Kelsey was it K E L S E Y K E L S E Y P L U M. Oh, it's 10 letters. Not, not gonna fit. Is Kelsey Plum not fitting on there? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, KP, not this time. Was really giving participation. Like, good job. That is so I don't like that. Yeah, it was really about, giving, it's really giving good job. Right. A that a girl. Like a that a girl. Job. There you go. That a girl, you did a good job. Bitch, you doing a good job, bitch. You doing a good job. That's all they said. Yeah, I just want y'all to get it together because I really don't want the league to fall apart. Like, it's so much talent in in women's basketball in college right now that like I don't want these girls to not have an opportunity to be seen on the big stage because like when I went to the the um when I went to go see the the dream thirty for thirty for the the women's dream team like. A lot of these women really wanted to play basketball and there was no opportunity to do that shit professionally. Like after they got out of college, like Cheryl Miller is one of the greatest basketball players to ever pick up the ball, but she never got a chance to play in a league because after she graduated college, there was nowhere for women to go. And by the time the WNBA came around, she was able to coach a team, but she was never able to play. So like, we never got to see like one of the greatest talents grow to her biggest potential because there was nowhere for her to go. So it's like, I don't want these, these next generation of girls because the next generation of girls that's balling is balling how niggas want to envision women balling. Like the, the girls is balling. And I don't want them to like not get a chance to, you know what I'm saying? Like live their dream because y'all are mishandling a league, bro. Like get it together. I don't even know what can they do. You think they need like new management or something like that? They, they need new people. Cash. And I feel like they need new people that's really like not just trying to collect a check. Like, so you think, so basically, Kathy needs to go. 
Kathy, Kathy on like strike two and a half for me. So I feel like <laughs> they just need to do something. They gotta do better. Kathy gotta get together. She gotta start listening to other people. Stop giving out pimp cups. That was very disrespectful. <laughs> no more pimp cups as all star MVP. It was that's disrespectful. I just I really don't understand why they did not give the glass because everybody else's award is a glass like award. And yeah, it's like, I'm like, that stuff curry shit. I'm like, why the fuck is it like that? And hers do like oh, a okay. that's a different type of shit. But like I'm yeah. talking about all the other women's awards, like the three point challenge, the um skills challenge. Everybody gets like this. It's about like this big, and it's like a glass award, like a why decent size glass. I mean, why they didn't they give that her that shit for because yeah, they guys gave her a bowling trophy. Like, what the fuck was that? Oh, anyways, not I'm a joking. bowling trophy. I don't I'm, know. Get it together, WNBA. Get it together, Kathy. Because I'm. I don't have to curse you out no more. <laughs> and don't be. We just gave you. Mad, we gave y'all mad ideas already. I feel like we talked about this before. Yes, we have. And don't. I'm telling you right now. If, if I see Candace, a makeup deal, if Candace Parker retire next year, and y'all do not, and y'all treat my sis like how y'all treating Sylvia Files for her retirement year. I'm coming down to y'all office and I'm fighting <laughs> she, because y'all doing Sylvia real dirty. Sylvia do not deserve that, and y'all better not do that. She's storming the office. It's Nicole Parker because I'll fight y'all. She is storming the office. I'm storming the office. I'll dead fight y'all. Don't do that to her. Um, let's get these sneakers on so we can get out. Yes, let's get the sneakers ready. Oh, we can share them. Yeah, we can share them. Yeah. I'm starving. I'm getting a headache. I'm starving. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You want to share it? Let me share it. I I got it up right now. I do. I got right. the, the padders up. All right. So we gonna talk about the white padders. I don't know why I said that like a bird. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm not. I'm sorry. I was having a real bird moment. I'm, I do apologize. I'm not Sometimes the spirit of bird just gets in me. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh ain't make it any better, yo. You got it, chill. Why are you Ooh. giving? You really giving? You giving this, that? The you spirit of bird just it just. What happened to that girl? Yeah, the spirit of it, bird just came into me. It's, it's, it's out. Bad. Stop. It's out. It flew right back out. Okay. Let's do images of the Pata Nike Air Max One in white. Did you see that green pair? I didn't. Oh, it's like a supposed green pair. I right. if that if those are real, sign me up right now. A I like seven. how this matches our screen. I'm I'm lo- I'm fucking with this. I love right, it. it's so cute. I love the setting. Don't forget to watch this on YouTube, y'all. Or or if you want to see the sneakers that we talking about, come watch it on YouTube so you can see what we talking about because we sharing the screen. I like this. This is cool. Man, niggas may never go to the studio again. But I'm no, not- relax, relax. <laughs> Cause no, I like I like technology. Oh, that's relax, really relax, for light release. Stop. Now I feel like I need to watch a different world. <laughs> I was I said that to somebody the other day, so so like relax, 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 relax. <laughs> yeah, I'm off the production. Is it on Willie was wilding. These are actually, I'm never gonna lie to you. I like this. I like the different color in the um the midsole. Is there like a gray? I like from here, blue. it's giving like a it's giving like a little yellowish tint mm-hmm. like that. Oh, all these. Oh, you're talking about the midsole. I was talking about like the uppers. Oh no, no yeah, that's definitely giving gray like to me. It's the midsole. Blue. I kind of like how it's different because all white like Air Maxes to me. No offense, but all oh, white Air Maxes, oh, especially like Air Max Ones or Air Max Nineties, it, it just give me like nurse. I knew that you were gonna say that. I felt that too. It was giving like cafeteria, like it's giving. Yeah, like, like it just gives me like a work shoe. So I like that they added the color because then it it helps separate that in my brain. I like them. Oh yeah, yeah. I know my brain works weird. Yeah. Air Max Ones. I'm not gonna apologize good. for it because I like I like how my brain works. I'm not gonna apologize for it. My bad. No, neither. Let me it take that back. It makes you you. Let me take that back. <laughs> Um, but not either. I like them, but I, I'm telling you right now, if that green pair is real, I gotta see if I can find a picture of the green pair and I'm gonna send it to you. If that green pair is real, I need it in my life. I want it in my life. Come put it in my life. Yeah, I need it. Don't get me started. Now I have to see, listen to that. I need it. I need it. We done with this pair? We done with these. I'm yelling. Let me see. What's the next joints? Oh, the next joints. 
I need these for real. I low key. I'm not a fan of the team. Y'all know how I give it up. Y'all know the home teams is always my team. I be rooting for other teams out of town, but the home teams is always where the heart is. This is a a Knicks, Giants, Rangers, Yankees house. Um, but these Philadelphia Philly dunks is fire. I'm so sorry, cool. y'all. I like them. I am so sorry, y'all. Y'all know I give it up for the Bronx Bombers. These <laughs> Philadelphia Phillies. These, are these dunks is fire. It's just this is blue. Like, girl, it's Swade. Get the fuck off my... Get off the fucking... Get off. Get off. Get the fuck off the computer. You can't... You can't... You can't... You can't... You can't... Get off. It is it's I, was getting, I was about to tell you to get the fuck off my lawn. Like, get off. <laughs> oh, it's Swade. day. And I like, you know, I'm not from Philly, but the fact that they got the Liberty Bell and the tongue, that's cute. And then they got a, a I guess that's a chili cheese, though. Oh. Or is that a Philly cheesesteak? Oh, it's a Philly cheesesteak. My it's bad. Philly che- cheesesteak, yeah. It looked like a hot dog from here. It looked like a hot dog. That's why I said at first a, a, a hot chili dog because it looked like a hot dog. It remind me of an inside joke that has me in fucking tears. Me and my friends, we went to Philly, right? Mm. And then my friend was like, yo, I'm about to give you some Philly cheese dick. I'm like, my nigga. What? She called it Philly cheese dick. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> what is up with your bird calls today? What's good with you? <laughs> nah, Philly cheese dick is different. I would have laughed at that out loud. But now, like, every time we go to Philly, I just think about Philly cheese dick. I'm crying. But now, these are fire. And with that gum sole, come on. I love me a gum sole. Yeah, these are really fire. I'm a, I'm a going for my bed on sneakers and hope I get them, but mm-hmm. I ain't, ain't going to get too happy. I ain't going to get too excited. You ain't going to post it? <laughs> you keep it to yourself? I ain't going to get too excited because I feel like it might not make it. I might not make it. You know, sneakers app, I be on it, but it don't it still don't be showing me no love. <laughs> and that's out of like if anything you would <laughs> that is the most backward shit. I still be taking L's. You better tell them I'm not like listen, I'm on I work here. <laughs> Fix that algorithm. Fix that algorithm. Y'all bugging my it. face is on it, but I still be taking L's. <laughs> that's, that's the most backward shit I ever heard. Was you able to get the Nina Chanel hoodie on there? Yeah, I did. Okay, at least you did that because like it's the least they can do. I did get the I did get the the hoodie. That hoodie is fire. You got the black or the gray? I got the black just because I like the way the colors pop more in the black. I don't I don't need more black hoodies. But we always need black hoodies. I have a thousand black hoodies, but (laughs) but I like how the colors really popped on the black. Like the gray, it looked nice. But I was like, damn, that yellow go hard on the black. Like yeah, the black I just like hard it. on the black. Yeah, I'm not a I like gray hoodies, but do I need it that in gray? No. No, like, I preferred it in black. Yeah, but I was like, why you get the gray? I was like, nigga, because I don't like the gray. I, like I did the get the gray shirt because I didn't I don't need no more white shirts. I hate I black didn't even get shirt. this. I forgot all about the shirt. I was like, I need that hoodie now. Yeah, no, that hoodie was priority. I hope I didn't get the wrong size because I got a large. It said it was a women's sizing. Yeah. And they told the men to go up a size. I'm going to just, it's going to be oversized anyway, so it's okay. That's fine. They told the men to go up a size. Yeah, so I was like, all right, I'm going to just get the large because once I wash it, it's a dub, so. Yeah, yeah. And I got boobies, so I, the medium be too tight. The medium be too tight. Yeah, I was like, I, I did get those, but I'm going to cross my fingers for these for these dunks because Mm-mm-mm. these really go hard to me. I'm from the Bronx. I know that's the crazy part. <laughs> you are from the Bronx, man. I know. I live in the Bronx. That's crazy. I can't like I can't have on Bronx bond. I mean, I can't have Philadelphia. You just can't wear them in the Bronx. Yeah. You, I be, yeah, I can't be in the Bronx with that's people. Disrespectful. All right. I'm about to <laughs> you play too much. I'm about to get But that. I'm gonna get the now nah, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the Georgetown Sixes is gonna make up for it because they're gonna go with all my Yankee shirt. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But deep down inside. I ain't no Philly fan now. I ain't I'm about, to, about to Philly. I ain't even about to buy a jersey to wear it with. I just like the color. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, nah. I would never. I would never. <laughs> and I'm heading out to Philly. I would never. I would never. I only, had, I only got Yankee jerseys, Kobe jerseys, and Mellow jerseys. I got other Knicks jerseys. I don't got no. 
I can't do that. We got the panes. The panes. Come on. It's the all panes. about me. That's my fucking song. <laughs> I just had a hit with that one. Son, they need to put all those songs on like a Disney album. Yes. Did you see that TikTok about that Disney club or the Disney party? No. It's like this club that, well, like these people that be traveling, they be having these Disney parties in different states and they be playing all the songs. Like they be playing all the Cheetah Girls songs. Who want to have a Cheetah Girls party? Niggas be going up. I really want to recreate that. I want to I wanna do the Cheetah Girls um, sweatpants costume. If niggas have karaoke, we can do that. Mm. I hope yeah, he's you, know, you know I love me I love me a good musical I love me a costume I love like a theatric moment I like I love me a good musical costume. What's my favorite movie like musical, so I be singing all the songs Don't I need, what? Let, me, let me do the Cheetah Girls I, I think I remember some of the dances I just gotta watch the movie We stand together I just gotta watch the movie <laughs> We make the perfect movies. Dances will come right back to me Right, like I just need the sweatsuit. Now you're about to have me watch Cheetah Girls too. Cheetah Amigas, friends, because my bitch came out the corner. Ray came out the corner with that friends fucking hat on. It's like I'm friends saying. for life. She, she started walking down the steps and she was, uh, she was doing her little, her little, uh, her little her intro. Her, her and her kid heels. Hat. Right, her and her kid in heels. You could not stop her. Yes, come on, my sister. She the only bitch with the heels. Up. Only bitch with the heels. Faithfully My had that oversized red visor on. She was coming out of right. stack. She was not. She was like, Olay, bitch. I ain't fucking playing with you. Right. That. We are. We are make us it was giving Carmen San Diego, but it's a yeah. vibe. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? She was in Barcelona. Right. In her life. <laughs> <laughs> how we go from this? To, how we go from social status to fucking. All right, come on. Let's stop playing around. Oh. But I'm definitely watching Cheetah Girls too because now yeah, now I'm on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to put it on after I watch um Miss Marvel. Please. I'm fucking weak. The social status penes, they look really good. I like the tan, I like the tan bear. It's really cute. And we're gonna lie to you. Penny was always funny? to me was like a one basketball shoe that I really did like because I felt like it made your foot look smaller. Yeah. I was never able to get a pair. They never no, made- I didn't have them. I just always saw people's foot look smaller in them. These are nice though. That they fire. One ninety. Oh, yeah. They did have the the. They did have the raffle already. Yeah. They wilding for the price. <laughs> Pen, yo, the OG colorway is go is on StockX and Goat right now for four hundred dollars. People are wilding. They, they can go to hell. People are wilding for pennies. I. That's what I'm saying. Like I feel like the sneaker sneaker is, is in a real weird place right now. It's not. Yeah, four hundred dollars for pennies, bro. Penny, and I'm not saying like Penny Hardaway to me is one of the, one of the most underrated players, um, to ever play the game. You know, but that's just how things pan out. Like you know, you there's always like should you know had this had not happened. Like had Grant Hill never been injured, Grant Hill might have been the face of the NBA at one point. But like you know, what I'm saying like you can't. There's always should have would have could have, but like. I'm not disrespecting Penny, but I'm just saying, like, y'all charge you $400 for pennies, bro? Special place in hell. Ain't no way. Ain't a no lot of y'all didn't even like them shits back in the day. Y'all charge you $400 for pennies? Ain't no Heard. way. Heard you. Oh. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> like, hit that note. Oh, you all know, what's, know the song that you're singing. Hit the, huh? I was like, I always know the song that you're singing. I just follow up with the wish and record again with the, the exactly. harmony. Hit the that harmony. note, sis, because there ain't no way in hell. All right. This is <laughs> our, our last joint. Drum roll. <laughs> the Buffy's Beauty Supply. Why are you saying? <laughs> Please. Hair Jordan <laughs> 7. Hair? Get out. Cause you know Jamaicans can't say um they can't say a they add an they h say, to everything they add an h to every other thing but when you're supposed to say the h they can't say the h yeah I'm like why why like Harriet they say Harriet yes Harriet Harriet Thumbman I ascend <laughs> go to <laughs> that lady's name is Hyacinth first of all that's an od West Indian name that like, yeah, oh, Hyacinth God I don't know but even anyway. I'm not even trying to do what's in your names right now because I got a list. Yo, 
we not Selene, gonna do that. Selene, um, we not gonna do that. We just gonna we gonna we gonna get to Beffy shoe because we gonna Selia. be here. Let's give us Selya. Oh yeah, <laughs> Selya, boy, Selya. Oh my God, wow. it's a few others. All right, come on. Too many. Beffy shoe looking fire to me. I know Sevens is one of my favorite silhouettes, and it got like a little touch of Harachi on it. I'm digging it. This would actually feel like this shoe might be one of the first shoes to make me be outside in the fall. Right. I'm I say outside. I don't mean like outside having a good time. I mean like maybe like outside with bugs. Huh? Like I, this would this is really giving me like I need to take these somewhere and take like good pictures like I'm in nature. Like you, like know, you know, camping. You know I don't get jiggy with nature, bro. I don't either. That's what I was like, what? But it just gives me that vibe because it gives me like it's a utility. It's giving the Moabs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it gives me like utility. I fuck with them. I like the colorway too. Me too. It's the back for me. Yeah, it's the back. Cause it's giving like you could see the seven, but you could also see the Hirachi. Mm -hmm. I like that she put her logo on the back. I'm, yes. glad, I'm, I'm surprised to let her do that. Hey. Yeah, yeah I love cool. the logo on the back. Oh, I didn't even notice. You see the A? Yeah, A I R. I didn't notice that. A I R. I say A I R. I'm stupid. <laughs> it's time to go. I see. It's time to go. <laughs> now these is really fun. Oh, look at the box! <laughs> In the box. Come on, y'all know I love a good box. In the box, and now it's time to say goodbye. Okay, sorry. Nah, these are fire. I need it. I'm doing it because I'm gonna do it too. Like I'm a child. I need it. I need them. I need it in my life. I wanted it. Oh, this might be another colorway because why is that paper green? And the shoe is yellow. Oh, it might be another colorway. Contrast? Maybe. Girl, what I have no money. Miss nah, Mom. It is it two colorways? Let's see. Okay, just say one. Okay. All right, so it's for contrast. I was just trying to get excited. Say 210. Boy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm about to send an email. My <laughs> just send the email. Ma'am. Ma'am. Boy. Why is it doing that? Me, me art. Boy. Look at the soul. Hold on. Oh, nah. Yeah, I need those. I need it in my life. They need after pay. Right. <laughs> after pay. After pay, bro. I need it. I need after pay for that. And I bet you it's gonna be apparel. The apparel is gonna be fire too. Yeah. Sure, I'm like, I know it's gonna be some man. I'm gonna need at least five out five hundred dollars. Yeah, on the on the collab on whatever drops. I'm a Beffy help. I know, right? She rallying. Send, send the flood. We're gonna have to talk about this. Ooh, she rallying, why <laughs> she do her thing thing. All right, goodbye. Good night. <laughs> I'm getting off now. <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. Enough. Woo. Enough with Jennifer Lopez. You watch that movie? Unfortunately. <laughs> That's her best movie. OD. She did her best acting in that one. Because, like, ain't no one. Her and Selena. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She I was thought she was Selena. That's the fuck. <laughs> yes. That's like people. There's people out there that think Angela Bassett is Tina Turner. Like, what? Oh, oh my God. Come on, Floor. Come on, you're supposed to know the words. I'm the, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> come on, you're supposed to be this. You come on, you're supposed to know the words. Aye, aye. You are Spanish Jamaican, you're supposed to know the words. I'm guess I'm more Jamaican than Spanish. You are Panamanian as a Spanish Jamaican, you're supposed to know the words. Tell my Pam family that that's not my fault. They gotta teach you. <laughs> Imagine they start trying to teach you Spanish at 29. Uh -huh. What I can imagine they sit down and teach you Spanish at 29. <laughs> it's like better late than never. It's <laughs> like, bro, y'all had all this time and y'all doing this like now. Bilingual queen, but nah, I could have been speaking Spanish on the podcast. Fact, but, that's what I'm saying. I got to do better. <laughs> Come in, floor. Please. Floor. <laughs> Good night, Hi. everybody. Hi. <laughs> Anything for Selena's. Sorry, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm Good night, y'all, because Michaela's acting up. <laughs> and we, oh, we've been here. 
We've been here. We had a time today. We had a time. We had a time last night. <laughs> I love that sound. I can't wait to use it. I've re- I haven't had a chance to use it. Yet. I haven't had a chance to use it because I ain't get that lit yet. It could have been Friday, but I was I was being. You know, I low key don't need to get that lit, but yeah, it might have to be at a fest. Yeah. Might it might have to, I don't need to get that lit, but we had I need to use that sound. We had a time last night. All right, y'all, for real. We got to get out of here because we really acting up. We about to be yeah. It's been a great time. See ya or not see ya. Well, well, you watch us on YouTube. See ya next week. If not, if you're listening on, on the, all the platforms on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pod being all that jazz. People really there. use pod beans, like for real. Yeah, we be using it. We bite. Really? We be bite. We be bite. We be bite. Hopefully, we be in studio next time. Right. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we be back in the stew. Bye. Back like- to the stew. Back to the stew. All right. I'm ending it. Bye. Bye. Good day. Good night.